today I'm going to be doing my very first hair tutorial using a heat appliance. Yeah, kind of crazy. I feel like I've only done one or two other hair tutorials before, and they were really quick and easy, like school time ones. Um, so I thought that I would finally hop on the bandwagon and do a hair tutorial. This is what the hair is going to look like, and I'm obviously wearing extensions. My hair is not this long. Um, naturally, but it is celebrity inspired, so I thought I might as well use some extensions and have fun with this that. One is particularly inspired by Selena Gomez's hair that she sported at the Teen Choice Awards, and I thought it was so beautiful. So, this is kind of my take on it. Obviously, it's not exact, um, but I thought it was pretty close, and I really like how it turned out. It's just very voluminous waves, and they'll drop. Um, during the day. This is just right after I finish, so they're quite long as you guys can see, but um, I really like it, and if you guys want to learn how to do this hair tutorial for yourself, then keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to need is a good heat protectant. It's so important to protect your hair from the heat before you use any heat appliances on it. Um, it's going to make your hair a lot healthier in the end and a lot stronger and everything and prevent breakage and especially if you're doing this with extensions you don't want to damage them and you want to extend the life of them as long as you can so um, make sure you use a good heat protectant the one that I have been using forever is the heat tamer spray by Tresemme love it so um, the first thing we're going to do is just coat our hair in some heat protectant make sure you go from the top to the end and then I'm going to just take a paddle brush this is my Denman paddle brush and I'm just going to brush this through to evenly disperse the heat protectant through my hair. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry for a second, so I'm going to tell you guys what else you're going to need for this tutorial. So um, all you're going to need is two other things. You're going to need a clip if you want to um, clip your hair back. Now this tutorial is so easy. I'm not even going to pin my hair up in layers or anything like that. But if you want to just keep your hair out of the way, do a little bit out of a time, um, then a big clip like this is going to be perfect. You can get this at Target, Ulta, um, any kind of drugstore. I'm sure everywhere pretty much has this. Any kind of beauty supply store. You can find one of these anywhere. And then you're going to need a curling wand or a curling iron that you can just wrap it around. I believe this is um, a one and a half barrel. Alright, so once you have all of the materials gathered, this tutorial is so quick and easy. Well, it's not super quick if you have a lot of hair like this, um, but it's still really easy. I don't really do it in layers or anything like that. First, I'm actually going to kind of part my hair down the center and clip this back. And that's just going to keep the hair away so I don't get it all jumbled up when you have a bunch of hair. And um, we're going to start with this side of hair that's um, on the opposite side of our bangs. So I'm going to take about an inch or so of hair, like I said, and um, just take about that much. And we're going to take our curling wand and start it about a few inches down from the top of the hair so you don't need to go all the way up. Um, but just like this far is good. And then we're going to wrap our hair around the barrel and keep the barrel horizontally like this you don't need to make it vertically um, just like this is perfectly fine and we're going to hold this for just a few seconds and then go like this and we have our first curl so we're just going to do that with all of the hair I'll do a few more and then I can speed up the rest of the video so it's not super repetitive but as you can see, I'm not going in any particular, like I'm not um, putting my hair back in layers. And I just think it makes it a lot easier and quicker to do the hair. Um, you can totally do it in layers if you feel like that's what you want to do. But I just prefer to just take some hair at a time. It doesn't really matter what layer. And start wrapping it around the barrel. Again, a few inches away from the scalp, from the top of the hair. And we're just going to let it... Hold for a few seconds. Now, um, when you're first doing this, the heating um, curling wand is probably still not um, as hot as it would be when you're doing the rest of your hair because it's had time to heat up. So if you need to go back and do these few pieces again later on, that is going to be perfectly fine. There we go. And I'm just going to keep on taking sections of hair. doing the exact same thing. Let it hold 
hold for about 5 to 10 seconds. And then pull it down. Okay, so as you can see, I've done just a few um, sections of hair. Looks like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the rest of my hair on this side, and then I will be right back. I also just want to mention really quickly that um, when you're taking sections of hair to curl, um, and when I say you can you know, take about an inch or so, I think it's fun if you vary it up, you know, do a little bit less than an inch, do a little bit more than an inch, do an inch. Um, that's going to make the curls look a little bit more natural, and I just think it's fun. So don't think that you have to, you know, be perfect and precise when picking, you know, a section. Just kind of take as much hair or as little hair as you want, and it really does not matter um, how much. I think it actually looks nicer when you do that, so I just wanted to mention that. Okay, so I just finished this side and now I'm going to go on to this section of hair. So I'm going to remove the clip from my hair and you can put the clip on this side of your hair if you want to, but I just want to um, let it be because it's still a little bit hot. So all I'm going to do is just carefully put that behind my back and then I'm going to keep all this hair in front until it's done. So I like to go... Um, start from the front of my hair instead of working my way from the back to the front but whatever um, suits you you know if you prefer to do it the other way then go ahead and do that um, but I'm just going to start kind of with my bangs area and we're going to kind of do the same thing but I wanted to show you how I do it I guess on the other side of my hair so for her bangs we're going to um, as you can see I don't really have bangs I don't know if you consider that bangs but we're just going to take about a few inches of hair like this. So I took kind of like what my bangs were and then a little bit more hair. And then we're going to take the same curling wand again and we're going to this time lift it on top of the hair a few inches down again from our part and then we're going to wrap the hair around like this and then just slowly bring it up a little bit. So you bring it a little bit closer to your head, getting a little bit more hair in the wand. And we're just going to let that sit for a few seconds. Then I kind of like to roll the barrel front and backwards just so there's no like kink in the hair from the curling iron. Um, okay, and then I'm going to carefully unwrap this and put that in my hair. Then I'm going to shake that out a little bit and we have this really pretty kind of um, swoopy wave kind of thing going on so um, it makes the effect the illusion that you do have a little bit of shorter bangs there even if you don't so um, I really like that so we're going to continue with the rest of our curling so again just taking a section of hair doesn't really matter how much hair is involved and then we're going to do the same thing but just the opposite way that we did on this side of the hair. So again, bringing it a few inches down and then curling the hair. Keeping the barrel horizontally. And then letting that go a little bit. I also like to hold the end in my hair a little bit, um, but I still like the end to be curled so that it's not like a straight end. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed the rest of this up for you guys and then I will be right back. So this is what the finished product looks like um, after I've just curled my hair. And then the last step that you want to make sure that you do is finish it off with a hairspray if you want this to last all day long. Um, so I'm just going to be using the Extra Firm Hold um, Tresemme hairspray. So I'm just going to 
shake it up and spray it away from my hair about a few inches away. Well, that is my hair tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed my first hair tutorial actually using like a heat appliance. It's kind of crazy that I've never done one yet, but please if you have more celebrity inspired ones, um, let me know in the comments below and thumbs up each other so I know which one is the most um, wanted and everything like that. If you do have a picture that you want me to look at, it doesn't have to be with like with heat appliance, just any kind of hair tutorial or makeup look um, that you've seen in a picture and they want me to recreate, please post that on my Facebook wall. I will link that in the description box below. I recently made a Facebook, so it's the best way to post requests and everything um, for me to see and I can respond to that. So I will hopefully try to get to everyone's request. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope that you like it because I'm a huge Selena Gomez fan and I thought her hair was beautiful. It's always beautiful. And I just feel like all celebs have just gorgeous long hair, um, whether that be extensions or real hair. So I thought it'd be appropriate for me to use my extensions. They're quite long um, compared to like my normal hair, but um, you get the gist of it. You know, it's kind of celebrity inspired. So I thought I might as well have fun with them. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, try it on your own hair. You do not need extensions for this look. Um, but if you want to um, use the extensions that I have or look into getting them or something like that, I will link where I got them below. They're from Luxie Hair. Hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial and until next time I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!